Hello, my very good friends across the world and internet. It's the season of the Punk Rock Raduno Festival, which falls in Italy each year, which brings together the pop punk world that we know of. And first of all, it places them all in the same location for a multi-day festival for you fans. Secondly, each year there's a different compilation album record which compiles a song from each of the bands appearing at the goddamn festival. So why not take a look at the comps throughout the years? Years. Let me just do my calculations to make sure I'm correct. Yes, I'm correct so far. So first off, Punk Rock Raduno Volume 1. It's funny because this says Volume 1, as if they knew that there was going to be further albums throughout the years. I'm not absolutely sure which year this album is, but it was a very good year nonetheless. I'm going to guess maybe 2016. So on the front cover here we have Very Real Mickey Mouse, very real Banana Splits characters and a very funny monkey. Moving on to the reverse of the album, this is a design that I can appreciate and like. Let me just run the calculations. Yes, I'm correct. We have a picture of each of the bands and at the top tracks 1 through 9 and tracks 1 through 9 of side B many tracks, 18 bands, 18 tracks, and as I said, we have the pictures of the bands. There's some standouts here, of course, but I'm not going to pick favourites, but I will tell you a few of the bands which made it. There's the Manges, there's Jimmy Vapid, Lucy and the Rats, of course, there's, oh, I'll do my calculations later, Teenage Bubblegums, and of course, there's Chicks to Get to Cracks, lots of bands for that year. It was a very good year. A quick look inside. Just the quickest of looks. Ooh, within an inner black sleeve is an inner black record. Full of associated bands for our entertainment, amusement, perusal, and uh, uh, checking out. Because, of course, I very much doubt that everybody has checked out every band on the album. Out of these, I've maybe heard of... Uh, Maybe more than 10 of the 18, but it was nice to check out further Banes. This, of course, is partnered. This album is partnered by Surfing Key Records, Monster Zero Records, Stripe Music, It's Alive, all sorts of partners all came together to help bring this out. And then the following year, the following year, mates, we have a more glossy cover on this one. I love the album art on this one. This is my favourite album art of they all. It has a sort of Where's Wally situation with Beavers and Butthead, Batman, um, Descendants Man, a cat, um, like Sloth and maybe other people, a Ramon, stuff like that. It's a lot of fun to look at. It's one of those covers that you'll take time to spend time with and enjoy and look at and on the back of the band. This year we have no band pictures, but we have a larger print list of the bands and the songs. So in this year we had the Apers, we had Rat Bones, Lone Wolf, we had um, Proton Packs, Prize Pigeons, so many great bands, and they once again sponsored by, um, partnered by, excuse me, uh, Stripe Music, Monster Zero, etc, etc. Uh, this is my favourite, my favourite of the compilations. If I could only take one to bed with me when I'm feeling like I really need some, uh, some special time with music, it'd be that one. And then on to the next year, which has uh, a pizza -y cover, a pizza -y cover. Uh, pretty plain cover this one, not so interesting, pretty plain, just a, um, a logo, an artwork. Um, 2018, I'm glad this one has the year 
on it. The Yeeya. Three chords, no brain, number three. On the back, we're back with pictures of the bands around the side. This year was partnered by Mom's Basement, Flamingo Records, uh, Monster Zero, Stardom Records, 10 tracks side A, 9 tracks side B, equaling of course 37 tracks. We've got The Queers, Dan Vapid and the Cheats, CJ Ramon, Jagger Holly, K7s, Sewer Rats, Windowsill, Bomb Pops, um, Rigabellis, Seven Years Bad Luck, lots of very good bands in this year, 2018. But it doesn't have the edge, I'm only talking about the LPs here, not the actual festival, it doesn't have the edge of the art cover that the previous year had. I'm not going to spend minutes looking at this front cover. No sorry, I'm not. And with that in mind, I'm going to move on to Punk Rock Raduno album compilation number four from uh, 2019, I assume, because there was not one last year. What's wrong with you, assuming there was? This one we have more of a bamboo, um, maybe palm tree type, or bones, I don't know, font of the word here, the number four at the top, no year written. Once again, the slogan, three chords, no brain. What a funny slogan. Moving on to the reverse of the alb, once again. We have a side A and a side B on the record. Phew. Punk Rock or Duno Volume 4. Written in the same font that Bad Religion use. That's a great fact. Um, 12 tracks side A. 11 tracks side B. That is a record for these albums. That's at least 40 tracks, I'm sure. A picture of the bands. Yes, they are. Stardom Records. Monster Zero. It's Alive Flamingo. Um, Mum's Basement. Lots of partners on this one. We have... Uh, Livermore's, Kepi Gooley, Dan Rapid and the Cheats again because they, they couldn't make it to the previous year's um, gig because of passport problem. The copyrights, Decracks, uh, Kurt Baker, Flamingo Nosebleed, so many good bands that year. I hope one day to, to be able to make it to this festival of life. Maybe once all of my children have flown the coop and I can actually leave my shackled home for a while. That would be nice. Or maybe I could take one of my older children with me to show him the way that people can enjoy life that isn't just lying on your bed playing video games all day. There is music outside, young Henry. There is. There's fresh air outside and sunlight and lots of people doing things that you can take part of. Come on, son. Arise from your sweaty bed and enjoy life like I do. Like I do! So um, that's the fourth Raduno LP. And that was the third Raduno LP. And that was the second and best looking Raduno LP. And twas the first Raduno LP. Although I must say, this first Raduno LP, the quality of the card is outstanding. It's thick. It has a, a matte finish, it's ever so nice. I do enjoy spending time with it, just like I enjoy spending time with um, strangers and um, pot plants and Pokemon cards and my mother's pretty button collection. Although I don't like to spend too much time on that one because it starts to depress me. So enjoy life, have a nice time, and I'll catch you when the Oh my god, they found me. I don't know how, but they found me. <laughs> Thank you ever so much for watching my very good video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Very Good channel and come back next week for another very good video. A video to watch now. It's a good video. Ha 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 ha